Hello all! Today I thought I'd do something a little different and include some thoughts on the historical games that I would like to see, but in reality may never get made. Well, unless I create my own AAA gaming company, and then nobody can stop me. <laughs> Hello. Buy this medieval loot box to see if your character gets a Crusader Knight red emblem or dies from plague. And as a pre-order bonus, get that third of a game that's missing from everyone else's. So the idea here is that I will try to focus on events or periods that don't really find their way into mainstream gaming. Now there are some existing games I may mention to criticize their lack of historical content. This is not in terms of how well designed or entertaining those games might be, however. I just want to make that clear. Some historical time periods are used very often, or not particularly well, which means that other time periods get ignored. Now obviously if you like this video and want to see more content, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe for more historical gaming content. And if you just want to talk more history with me, go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Discord. And without further ado, here's my list on time periods that can be used to make great games. The region of the North Caucasus mountain range has always had a various mix of independent cultures and a violent history. From the late 18th to the mid 19th centuries, the Empire of Russia wanted several things in the region. The security of its Black Sea trade and cities, to get rid of a roadblock to their expansion against the Ottoman Turks and the Safavid Persians, and to stop a huge slave trade of Slavic peoples by slavers in the region to the Islamic empires to the south. With a Red Dead 2 style or Witcher 3 RPG, without the magical monsters of course, just the human ones, a game in this region would immediately catch my interest. There would of course be many different factions that a player would have to navigate through, interact with, and possibly support or turn against. But it's a game that may never ever get made, because of the brutality of the Russian conquest combined with the attempted jihadist unification of the region by a rebel named Shamil. This could actually make for a gripping story though. Thank you, Tolstoy. It's not I. But there are too many politics in this that can relate to more modern politics in said regions, so that's always an iffy choice for game developers. So, let's move on. That's right, I said it, or wrote it. Mesoamerican. And no, guacamole doesn't count. Alright, well, I guess if you want to get technical, but you know what I mean. The mythologies of Mesoamerica have largely been lost and only partially reconstructed in more modern times. This is due to the Spanish being a tad bit too touchy about other religions at the time. But what has survived are monsters, gods, goddesses, and stories of human frailty and determination. A Witcher 3 style, or even better, a God of War style game would be perfect for the setting. The Americas were full of other cultures, stories, mythologies, battles, and empires all on their own before the Europeans arrived. Warning. 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 Bad pronunciation, Bad pronunciation incoming. incoming. I can imagine a player getting into a scrap with the White Chivo, otherwise known as the Nagual, in Mayan storytelling and other parts of Central America, a shape-shifting human-slash-beast that preys on livestock and people, being snatched on the water by the Ajuizot, or battling the rain god, Quiatiod. It is a mythology that I would like to see get more screen time. Alright, so prehistoric games are nothing new, and we've seen a few caveman games over the years. But Far Cry Primal was probably the one that showed the most historical promise, and actually did a lot, in a fictional story, to bring across the context of the animals and the interactions between different human species. But the game suffered from reducing co-op gameplay abilities, reskinning the map from Far Cry 4, and a few other things. Also, I will say that Ubisoft released a survival mode, which made animal interactions less frequent, and took away most of your senses and owl control, making it a bit more difficult and realistic in a sense. Wait, maybe they wanted to sell the extra resources stuff? Those sons of- It's a game feature that should have come out at release, but what are you gonna do? But it was lacking in some areas and stretched the truth. It's alright for a Far Cry game, but they weren't trying to make a documentary you can play. I heard Dawn of Man looks promising, but a caveman game with crafting and a well thought out story with diverse and creative character interactions with the world would be a nice touch rather than just a survival game. And perhaps somewhere else other than Europe this time. Maybe the Americas for slightly different fauna, or the later Polynesian colonization of the Oceania. It's a concept that's been used, but not deeply explored. 
So having maybe a new setting, good history, a deep backstory, and great gameplay, I think it could make for a great game. It ain't happening, I know, but hear me out. Call of Duty 1776 or Battlefield 1776. Which one sounds best? Minus the eventual microtransactions for upgrades to receive rifling or getting that gold trim on your uniform. Games like this have been attempted and already really seem to have done well enough on PC. For example, the DLC for Mountain Blade and Napoleonic Wars, and the game Hold Fast. When shooter games use anything that doesn't fire multiple rounds and is older than the 1880s, console players usually don't want any of it. I asked a buddy of mine about this idea, and he said the game pace would be too slow. Too slow? Just fire one shot, then go in for melee. Come on, so like, get the kill streaks, dogs, cannonade, smallpox? Alright, Hessians? I mean, some of the big games are afraid to slow the pace down a bit. The Battlefield series, when doing World War I, I thought everyone was going to start out with bolt action rifles. But no, that was too slow. At least that's what the creators thought. They just banked on giving everyone experimental weapons, and basically turned it into a World War II game almost. Imagine just having one shot and then having a 7 to 10 second reload time. Bayonets and tomahawks would come in handy. I would play it, but sadly this may just stay in the realm of PC, rather than ever making it to console. I don't know why anyone hasn't thought about this before. Maybe because they don't need therapy. A medieval game with Sniper Elite X-Ray Damage Vision. That would... I, <laughs> man, that would be great. Call me a masochist, but man, it would look sweet to hit somebody with a mace and then seeing the bones crack and blood gush. I do need help, don't I? Well, if Mortal Kombat can do it, then that's still popular. It's really a concept that made Sniper Elite famous, and I think it's a design that could work in other settings. I mean, there is the danger of it getting repetitive, and I'm sure game media and some parents may go up in arms, but come on. This is a great idea if I say so myself. And if anyone out there does create that kind of game, you got that idea from me. Just saying. 5%, maybe 10. We can work out the details later. Alright, so last one, and this is almost like the Mesoamerica idea, but probably with the detail of Kingdom Come Deliverance or Red Dead 2. I would say travel around the American landscape before the arrival of Europeans. I'm talking about the Mississippian Mounds, or in other words, the Mississippian Pyramids. Or even an attempt at the Woodland Period of 1000 BCE in that region of what would become the United States. I could imagine us walking around Cahokia, seeing the trade, the sights, experiencing a different style of combat. Perhaps getting to see the mounds being built? I hope someone considers it. I would buy this game day one. And that's my list for historical time periods and or events that don't get covered too often in gaming and that could make for some pretty good game subjects. But I'm sure there are a lot more. What are some of the historical periods that you feel should be made into a game? Go ahead and tell me in the comment section below. And if you want to talk more about history with me, go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Discord. Also, if you like this video and you want to see more content like this, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe for more historical content. Thank you to all my subscribers, and those who are here for the first time. Thank you all for watching. I'm Eric the Lone Pine Wolfman, and remember gamers, never stop learning.